This is the time of year that we talk and think about new habits, new goals, and new objectives for the year. I also hope that we're thinking outside the box score just a little bit more because now is the perfect time to tie sports to your business objectives because it all comes down to the bottom line. What does it take to win? Now, we can go in lots of different directions if you want to have that as a sports conversation or a business conversation, but in sports, there is one very obvious way to beat the other team. You outscore the opponent. Simple end of story. Now, I know that that seems like a Captain Obvious statement, but the next time you hear something close to that on a broadcast, here's what I want you to realize that it is very clear in sports what you need to do to win, and it is less obvious in business. Because a win to the leadership team is different than a win for the management team, is different for the folks that are working in the jobs, maybe in entry-level positions. Sure, you know that the overall health of the company relies on a couple of numbers, but what is an actual win? When it is obvious in sports, it galvanizes everybody. Because think about it, everybody in the stadium, in the arena, in the locker room, on the benches, and watching at home knows what needs to happen for a win. It is how you get people to cheer, and it is how you get people to boo, and it's how you get buy-in. And the final seconds of a game, when you know that you've got to get that score, that point, that basket, that goal, that touchdown, It's not as simple in business. And I know that there's a lot of different layers, but what I want you to think about when you are thinking outside the box score is, how can I make this a clear objective that everyone can follow? It sounds really simple and it's really hard and it might take you just a little bit of extra time. But if you want the most out of your people and your team this year, sports can help give you the framework for having that conversation, pointing people in the right direction, and creating that community objective that actually gets the win that you need. There's lots of different ways that you can think outside the box score. I've got a whole bunch of them on YouTube and the blog at TalkSportyToMe.com.